Want to know more about the connection between safe user interfaces and risk management? Well, you can't talk about usability engineering and safe medical devices without talking about risk. And that's what this video is about. Hi, I am Michaela Kauer-Franz and I've been a usability engineer for almost 20 years now. This video is from my online course Introduction to Usability Engineering and IEC 62366-1 and you can find it on medicaldevicehq.com slash usability engineering. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification button so that you don't miss out on the premium content on the Medical Device HQ channel. Let's get started. When talking about a user interface being safe, you need to understand what safe means. In the risk management standard, ISO 14971, safety is defined as freedom from unacceptable risk. So when talking about usability engineering and saying that the user interface must be safe, it means that the user interface does not introduce any unacceptable risks. Then what is risk? Turning to the risk managed standard again, it is a combination of probability of occurrence of harm and the severity of the harm. So when we strive to create a user interface with no unacceptable risk, we try to bring down the probability of occurrence of harm or the severity of harm or both so that the magnitude of the risk is as low as possible. This also means risk in the context of this course has nothing to do with corporate risk management or project risk. This is product safety risk. And just to be clear, risk in this context is not only about the users. No, risks also include risk to users, patients or third parties. Or to put it differently, just about anyone who comes close to the medical device. If you ask me, being a usability engineer, I think usability engineering is a process that helps you design great medical devices in general. But if you ask a regulatory body, usability engineering is the process by which you have to work to create a safe user interface, as this is the only thing that is required from the regulatory point of view. Let's take one more look at the relationship between safety and risk management and safety and usability engineering. Medical device risk management, according to the ISO 14971, is focused on the safety of the medical device in general. And that overall safety is based on a lot of different areas. For example, risks from design flaws or failures in production. Or it could be clinical safety, including side effects or after effects, or electrical safety. But also, last, and of course not least, the usability of the medical device. The overall risk management process should be based on the ISO 14971, but there are other standards as well. For example, product standards that may impact the design, helping you to make it safe. And there is a standard on electrical safety, the 60601-1 standard. And as you know by now, there is the standard on usability engineering, the IEC 62366-1, which is really a process standard establishing requirements on how you should be working. So it is the same as the ISO 14971, but with a narrower scope because it's only relating to the user interface. As a side note, there's also a standard on usability in the 60601-1 series of the standards, and that is the 60601-1-6. This standard is similar to the first edition of the 62366-1 standard. Remember, this course is on the second edition and the amendment from 2020, so please try not to get confused. Having said that, you could see usability engineering as risk management focusing on the user interface or design control focusing on the user interface. If you take a look at the 62366-1 standard, there is even a flowchart showing how the usability engineering process is connected to the risk management process in one single picture. And as you can see here, usability engineering and risk management should be highly integrated. This is important to understand and remember when working with usability engineering. Your job as a usability engineer is to ensure that the device will be safe to use and has an as low as possible risk when it comes to the user interface. But you should also think about the users and achieving a great user experience. 
You should do this by designing the user interface of the medical device, which includes any potential warnings, the physical layout and designing the device itself, the design of the accompanying documentation, and the training the users will receive to achieve this goal. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you want to learn more about usability engineering, check out my online course, Introduction to Usability Engineering and IEC 62366-1 on medicaldevicehq.com. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to sharing more valuable insights with you soon. Thank you.